<laughs> Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, I gave you a great deck for the Link and Xyz Festival. I hope it worked pretty well for you guys. I hope you were able to grind your gems as fast as possible. And now we got the Zero Exodeck Festival. And <laughs> obviously, you, we're going to add some Blackwing Spice in that. And this time, we're going to have this beautiful going second deck, which works pretty well. Uh, because for some reason everyone want to go everyone wants to go first even though i believe like going second this event kind of makes more sense in my opinion but yeah <laughs> um here let me go let me give you like a real quick taste of what i'm talking about look at this going second like boom obviously we're not always gonna going to have better duster here but um yeah, there's going to be a lot of back row decks, so you're going to need to play cards like Feather Duster, Heavy Storm, Ball Breakers in general. Okay, now look at this hand. Why is this hand so crazy? Because thanks to Imzeti and the Sarcophagus and whatever, we can actually control our graveyard. So we're going to have Imzeti in the graveyard, we're going to have Zarn in the graveyard, we're going to have Boro in the graveyard, and then we can summon Dark Arm Dragon and just keep on popping shit before we OTK. Okay, and that's why the deck is so good, basically. But. Usually, you're not even going to get that far because the ball breakers are going to <laughs> take control. Alright, here's another really cool um, example video against... What is this? Some zombie stuff. I don't even know what that is, but yeah. As you guys can see, we are playing multiple Dark Arm Dragons because the, this card, you can just special summon three times if you haven't. Okay, and this is what I mean by sarcophagus, that this card is insane. You can just... Boom, 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 boom. Discard whatever you need. Just so that you can summon your Dark Arm Dragon. And other reason, uh, other way to discard cards is by using Forbidden Drop. That's the worst case scenario. You can also use that card. And then just um, send the other Dark types to the graveyard. So now, here, yeah, we're going to use Sarcophagus. He's going to Ash because there's nothing else to really Ash. And then... Um, we're just going to use it again. Right? And it doesn't really matter. Because all we need are just three dark types in the graveyard. And then boom, we can summon our boys. And it's Merry Christmas. Basically. Right? And then. I'm going to go to the ball face here. Because this guy can negate stuff. And yeah, it just really doesn't matter. I, I didn't really have to do this. But for some reason I still did. But yeah. That's basically just how it is, man. Like, Dark Arm Dragon, let's go. Here's another example video. So, you're going second this time. We don't. Uh, we got Mzeti again. He actually, man, usually, once you have Mzeti, you can already win, right? But sometimes, you're going to need a little bit more. Here, in this case, we have Heavy Storm that carries really well. And we hard drew the Dark Arm Dragon. And we're going to use Heavy Storm. Usually, the Sarcophagus stack, whatever here. The Shining deck, they usually have like a spell negate, right? And in case you're wondering how to get rid of that first, you're just going to use like your Blackwing Monsters to run over that uh, spell negate. And then you can use the spells. But yeah, we're going to summon here my Shiroko. Um, I didn't want to summon Dark. I, I could have summoned him, but it didn't really matter. So yeah, whatever. Um, I'm going here to the Bell Face. I forgot that this guy can do some other stuff and that actually almost cost me the game. I didn't really know how those shining sarcophagus deck works, but it's actually pretty nice this deck. But yeah, I almost got killed here. Almost. Luckily. I'm saying almost because yeah I still survived and now look at this. Um obviously Ferdasa was a good top deck, but the guy that actually carries in this match is my boy the Dark Arm Dragon. So I'm gonna use his effect to pop this monster right here because it's a spell negate. He obviously is going to negate it, but that's fine because I'm just gonna use my Dark Arm Dragon's effect again because it's not a once per turn. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and pop it again. Right? And then, I can use my spell. And, boop, get rid of everything. You can summon my boy Gale. And go to the bell phase. And then I forgot that there is still other cards in the game that can just do this. 
But yeah, we're gonna use Dark Arm Drunk's effect to pop this guy. Do not pop this one because it's going to set another big cart, whatever. Probably, I don't know. Hidden Fortress. Maybe he's only playing one Fortress. I don't know. But yeah, he knows that once Dark Arm Drunk hits a field, man, it's Merry Christmas. This game is actually pretty cool. Um, I'm playing against Eldritch. Eldritch is like one of the most more annoying decks because if you don't have the back row removal, it's really hard to out grind and break this board deck, whatever. But with this deck, it's somehow manageable. What do I mean by that? So we're going to add Drewstorm here. I'm going to use Shiroko and Gale. Because I wanted to attack first over the Gold Lord Eldritch so that I can then banish it and continue. Um, but yeah, obviously, he's going to have some effects that do some things. Luckily, the Eldritch cards are nerfed. So yeah, we're going to use Magnemute. He's going to destroy my Magnemute and that is actually coming perfect for us. Why is it perfect for us? Because now, we can just... Not yet, not yet, not yet. But yeah, he's going to add this, which is fine. But now, we can tribute the Drew Storm to summon, boom, our Lobelion. And that is awesome. Why is it awesome? Because now we get regained and we can summon our Dark Arm Dragon. And that is Merry Christmas. Isn't this cool, guys? I actually misplayed here. I shouldn't have destroyed the... Uh, continuous spell I should not have done that but yeah as you guys can see thanks to dark arm drinks we can also use regains effect to draw some cards so I shouldn't have done that I should have just kept the monsters uh, did not destroy the spell just destroy the monsters go to the bell face and then he would have left like only on the six on life points left so he wouldn't even be able to use a spell Either way, it doesn't really matter because we have Dark Arm Drang on the field. And Dark Arm Drang is just the best monster in the game. So, whatever our opponent is going to do, it doesn't matter because Dark Arm Drang is crazy. And Heavy Storm is a top deck. It's just like Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, yeah. As you guys can see, we have another really cool deck to play. Alright, and here is the deck list, guys. Uh, I'm not saying that this is the perfect deck yet you can still do some adjustments to it i just didn't have this amount enough time to perfectly create uh, do it like perfect like perfectionize it but i'm 100 sure that we should be playing free dark arm dragons with the horus engine every deck plays the horus engine because they're free but in our deck it's actually pretty good because we're going to be able to summon our dark arm dragon faster you could also cook here some things maybe with like the chaos emperor dragon or whatever but right, you could do some stuff with, like that if you wanted to because you're playing lubellion right and whatever or even like the black luster cards like there are some really cool things that you can do with this deck because you're controlling it so good the graveyard with sarcophagus right you could play here black luster soldier maybe the other soldier like you can yeah you guys get the point right uh, but yeah, I'm playing the Black Wings because um, sometimes there are some really big monsters that just cannot be destroyed by card effects, only by attack. And that's where those come in clutch because you're going to see a lot of um, blue ice decks with this guy. I forgot the name of this guy. Uh, the Max Dragon here, this guy, right? You're going to see a lot of those. And the only way to out this guy is with something like Rocco. First summon a couple Blackwing monsters, boost the attack, and then run over it. Or oh, with Kalut. That's what I did once. I don't know if I can find the replay again, but um, yeah, that's what I did once. And it, yeah. The deck is just really cool, man. It's just really, really cool. And I, I'm trying to see if I can find it. And then if you need to like set up like a little board with branded beast and regain you're usually on the right good side to win the game control the game and yeah i don't know why people are playing hand traps in this deck ash however could be a good hand trap to stop like maybe zeddy but or ghost ogre ghost ogre would also be a cool hand trap for this uh, event but the ball breakers are doing pretty fine heavy storm and hoppy fed is just mvps and then obviously zeddy but yeah um 
<laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, let me go real quick through every car. You can stop the video to read the name up here. We got uh, Gale, Kalut, Bora. I'm playing one Chris because why not? Shiroko, Magnamood, Saronia, Trishum, Dark Arm Dragon, Lobelions, three times. We're playing the Mzettis. Duamutev, Happy, whatever. Dark Hole, Raigeki, Feather Duster, Heavy Storm, Walls of the Imperial Tomb, because why not? Three times Black World, you can maybe cut those, but at the same time, sometimes it's really cool to like trigger those to add more Black Wings. Regain Sarcophagus, Droplets, Brand Beast, and yeah, you could maybe change some things in this deck, mate. It's not perfect, but it's enough to have fun in this event for sure. But yeah, I hope you like this video too. Uh, let me know if the other deck list for the XCs and Link Festival helped. And if you were able to grind all the gems and everything that you needed, man. Like, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit the like button. Oh, I got something else to show you guys. This Sunday, the 24th November. The officially first Blackwing ball save that I was able to get from Sleeve Chief. Like, we cooperated on this. We worked together on this. I told him, like, yo, I want... A ball of sleeve looking just like this having the uh armor monster up here right with shura and vata the, from the past right the past black monsters and then we got the future black monsters which is zudri and uh vata having on the right side right like we got the past and we got the future present right there i created this leaf with sleeve chief it's dropping this sunday it's going to be on sale also because of black friday so you're gonna have a huge discount on this it's only going to be available for two weeks. After the two weeks, you're not going to be able to get this sleeve ever again. So make sure to get it. But don't forget to use the code CANEC5, man. In the description below, you get the link and the code. Make sure to use it. Not only this, you're also going to get this awesome sleeve, man. The Black Wing Dragon. We're, gonna, we're calling it Hell Wing Dragon. Because, you're, you know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> make sure to get it, man. It's the only chance to get it and then after the two weeks and i'm gonna be able to get it and those are awesome man if you're a blackwing fan you need to get those and also in addition in addition which is which is really important guys if we want to have like a play mat and a deck box which is related to the blackwing archetype right like a special a specific blackwing deck box and play mat we need to uh, show sleeve chief that we actually care for those products by ordering those products this sleeve for example or the bullet sleeve if we do this sleeve chief is going to understand they told me like if we're gonna have enough sales we're gonna get deck box and play mat so make sure guys to support your boy don't forget to use the code canic5 get those and then i promise you we're going to have more big things coming for blackwing so yeah man i did my part you guys asked for it now i need you guys help so that we can actually get more from this okay I'm excited, man. This, this is going to be really cool. And this is actually, man, no cap, my favorite ball of sleeve. Like, the most craziest, amazing ball of sleeve I've ever seen in my whole life, man. This is some beautiful art right there. Look how... Like, look at this, man. Look at this. This is just... Oh, my goodness, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Woo! All right. I'm out, guys. I love you. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Bye.